Okay, today is Steve Cash's birthday, and I'm out here at Seacore Metro Park. I had to stop at um, Tractor Supply to get some wood pellets, which I use for litter, because my Walmart was getting boxes of litter every once in a while. I can't do every once in a while. But it's actually worked out for the better, because you get more for less money. And when I'm working a lot of overtime, it does great, because... You have about a good four or five days before you got to clean the box, and it stays it stays good, doesn't have a smell, and it turns into like sawdust, which is really good. Anyways, if you don't know Steve Cash is, he did the YouTube uh, video videos, um, talking case series with Sylvester and uh, Shelby the dog, and then they came with um, Gibson, Random Kitty. And then Gibby's son. Gibson passed away. And then there was Gigi, Gibson's granddaughter. So this is, um, you know, kind of a little, it's a, like a, it's a virtual walk where people are walking to celebrate suicide awareness because that's how he had passed away from bipolar depression, which many, many people suffer from. And I don't quite really know it um, about it. But I am depressed, but the bipolar part, I'm really not sure, although... Some people might think I am, but I just know that some people I'd like to wrap their head around a pole because they're so nasty and so horrible, but that's just how things are. <laughs> people at my work. Anyways, I'm out here. I've been out here before. Um, uh, I did a, a couple years ago, I did a thing out here four weekends. I think it was in March. And you had to come on a Saturday, which is hard for me because I work second shift uh, all through the week. But I got up here, got up, come here, and you had to walk around and look for, like, birds of prey, hawks. And um, I did see a broad-winged and a cooper's hawk that day, um, the one day. Uh, it was really, like, muddy, and it was bad. Um, it was like I'm walking all the way, like, all the way around <laughs> to get to away. Away from the water. <clears throat> but, I mean, that's kind of where they sent me because people got here earlier than me. But, but you know what? I work second, as I said. And I remember going into the window of wildlife to give them what I saw. Oh, this is kind of cool leaf. Um, to tell them what I saw. And this guy come in and I had my camera with me with my big lens on it. So I could take a picture and say, here, you know, sometimes it's kind of hard to see, especially when it's like this. It's for me, it's kind of hard to tell, like, what kind of bird it is, especially if it's at the, or like sunny, if it's at the wrong angle, and it's just sitting there. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. Anyways, this guy come in, he says, oh, yeah, I saw a barred owl. I'm going to go get my big camera and take a picture. Um, okay. <laughs> but you don't have one now. <laughs> I'm like, okie dokie. That's one of the real reasons I didn't want to fall with that camera, because... They're not cheap, and the lenses are not cheap, although I do not have a titanium lens, which are very expensive, but I do have, I you know, a lens, and it's good. I took a loan out on my 401k so that I could get my lens after my other camera and lens were stolen out of my car by somebody who I used to hang around with. We all, most of us, know somebody who would do that to us or has done it to us. It's very sad that this goes on, but... Yeah, I work hard for my money and for my stuff. And if she wants to just drink and drug, that's her deal. I don't want to do that. I mean, drinking's okay, but the whole drugging thing, you can't do that. But I've never actually been down this way. Because I usually don't come here. I usually go out on Route 2, but they're hunting right now because November. A couple days ago, you wouldn't know it, but I loved that weather. That was incredible. 70s in Ohio. Yes, yeah, it was probably warmer down in southern Ohio, northwestern Ohio. So for the 70s, I think we were breaking records, they said. Okay, there's some Canadian geese flying over. This is the first thing I've heard since I've been here, I mean, besides people, but they were saying this is a beautiful day to get on. I'm like, oh, uh, no sun, no sun. And actually, tomorrow's supposed to be 50 something, which I will be working. I volunteered to work. The overtime on Sunday. 
So I'm going to have to do that. Uh, I'm not going to go in at no 7 o'clock. I'm a second shifter. It's kind of hard. I don't sleep well and it's a bunch of geese. Anyways, does anybody know why they fly in a V? They fly in a V so predators can't get them like the bigger birds of prey because flying in a V makes them look like a bigger bird. At least that's what I've heard. There's some more coming. There's some more coming. Yeah, okay, anyways, this is what's going on. So, what's over there? A bunch of junk? Broken down car? A bunch of junk over there. I don't, know, I don't know this area that well. Like I said, I've been here a few times. We was here about a month ago to do the, no, a month and a half ago, to do the witch dance with some, uh, with a coven. Um, yeah, there's more, there's more. And then there's, I think, a, maybe another group. It's pretty cool. That's about the only thing besides, you know, some people, some dogs. That's about it. You know, here I go. But anyways, this is just a little creek right down there. Um, not much going on at this point because, as you can see, it's kind of, it's kind of chilly. It's like 40-something right now. So there's a, a wood duck house way over there. I see it. Uh, it's going to be hard for you guys to see it, but I can see it. Yeah, that's a little bit of water right there. A little creek. Creek, creek, whatever. But Daddy was still there. Creek. That's what I say. I was like, what's that? It was a leaf moving. So, my plan is to leave here, go home, unload the car. From my, I don't actually shop in Walmart. I actually just pick what I want on the app. Pay for it on there. And they, I call them up and let them know I'm there. And I load into my car. So much better. And less, less wasted time for me doing it that way. I don't have to go in and shop. And there's no, oh my God, look, it's on sale. Oh my God, look, it's on there. Clearance racks. There's a lot less paying extra stuff, money for stuff. I'm probably, maybe, don't really need. Because they have enough stuff anyways. That's why I'm downsizing, downsizing. The care bears are going. Most of the stuffed animals are going. Um, sold my bulls shirts except for the one. A pair of, sh pair of shorts. And I'm selling Chicago Bulls books. Dale Earnhardt books. And stuff like that. Because I've done my, my yay for the bulls. And yay for Dale Earnhardt, I'm done. Um... It's time to get rid of that stuff. Because I really don't have any kids or nieces and nephews to give them to. And who's to say they wouldn't even want them? I mean, what if they sit there and they go, oh, dumpster time. She's gone dumpster time. Which is what happens to a lot of people's things. You know? If they can't get any big money out of it, dumpster time. Or they have a garage sale, which isn't bad. You'd like to think someone would just do a garage sale. But, you know, unless they're going to make a lot of money. They're not going to bother. So, see there's a little crack right there. It's just quiet. It's like there's nothing around. I haven't seen anything. I should be getting back to where I started from, I'm thinking. Like I said, I'm not used to being here. I went here a few times, here and there, years ago. There, Years and years ago, a particular guy I was with, his dog, we brought her out here, and she had to go, oh my God, smelled a dead raccoon. Had to go there. We didn't know what she was going for. She got a tick. I got a tick. He got a tick. Um, we got the ticks off. Um, actually, she had a tick on a tick. His dog did. Ugh. He didn't have the money. I bought the flea and tick stuff, and the tick was like, like dislodging itself because... That stuff was getting in the bloodstream. That tick was like, ugh. So, I'm like, yeah. So, when I looked, I see with a tick on it. Tick, I'm like, ah. So, we got it off and everything was good. Then they closed that area of this park. Um, I actually passed it driving here. I passed it getting, see, there's another group. Oh, there, there, there they go, right there. Um, 
Looks like there's, yeah, there's a group. Um, and uh, a lot of them will be heading away. Um, not all of them will migrate, but some will. But um, yeah, at least we got to take off, which was a good thing. And then they closed, like I said, they closed that part of the park. I passed it coming here. <laughs> I always, always remember that. Like, oh, that's what we got the ticks at. We all got one, all three of us. She got two. No, she's lower to the ground, too. So, ticks are a very... How can I say it? It's not a good thing to have on you. And I do have a netted suit that I wear, which I just have a jacket on. But, um, because it's like 40 some degrees, but a netted suit is really good. And they say ticks are out all year. I'm like, you just don't see them in the winter. They probably go under. But ticks are not good. And, you know, a lot of times you get them up by your neck. And, uh, yeah, sometimes you don't even know you have them on you. So, that's the scary part. And they are quite small, too, sometimes. Anyways, I'm going to get off here for now. As you're seeing, there's really nothing going on. That part of the creek is a dry bed right here. It's quite dry. But the one month the other way. But here we go. I tend to walk fast. I'm like walking like that. It's like, you know, it's just, I just have a lot of things to do. Take the groceries out, take the tractor supply out, the bird seed out, and then I get to vacuum and start getting rid of some more stuff. Putting some more stuff up for sale. Getting handy to go through another two totes. And my, I've gotten rid of four or five, five totes so far. And when I get rid of the other stuff, there'll be six totes. Maybe seven, probably seven. So that's a good thing. And I'll just put the totes away for um, your like use for another time. Because when you stack them in, in each other, it saves a lot of room. So, well, that's a big leaf. A maple leaf. That's a big one. Anyways, everybody, peace out. And stay safe because it's getting bad again. Stay safe with your belongings. Remember, at this time of the year, try to order online. Um, try to order and have them bring it out to your, your car. Keep your women, try to keep you now purses on you. Keep your cards that you use. Keep mace on you. Keep your stuff on you so they can't just walk up and swipe your purse. If you have it in a pocket, it's going to be harder. And when you leave, you know, even in the daytime when you leave the store, don't be on your phone. Because that's some, um, I think someone's going to try to rob me a couple of years ago in the broad daylight. In the summertime. So, um, that's pretty scary when that happens. Um, someone's going to try to, um, they were kind of hovering around next to my car as I'm loading up the trunk. I asked her if they wanted a cart, and she said, she just looked out of it. Yeah, and then I gave it to her. She kind of stood there like, looks like she was deciding what to do. Maybe there's too many people around. And the weird thing is, is they're, passenger side door was all blacked out with paper or like a plastic bag garbage bag and uh, I know there was window there because you can see it was up against something I think she was kind of freaked out and didn't know what to do so that's a problem I was like geez I could have got robbed well that's not a good thing so I really didn't like that. What is this? Here's all the little wet woods trail. Your photo center. Yep, see it gives you little things right here. But anyways, um, I remember going over this bridge. That's how I know where I'm at. But um, yeah, it's a uh, gotta be careful because. They would have been dark. They might have robbed me. 
I definitely don't want to be robbed. I've had stolen st stuff from me before. Like, uh, so that's really not cool. <laughs> One more mile to get to the... Well, I don't really want to go to the nature center. Hold on, that's not where I parked. <laughs> oh, the Lone Oak. That's exactly where I'm going. Yep, Lone Oak area. Okay. Good thing I remember that. It's going the same way. Like I said, I'm not familiar with this area. But I could have just put the, you know, the road. Can I think Bancroft and Central go around here? I think so. You just put in the road next to where you parked. You can get there. You just put on, on your GPS and put it walking. Because you, you do have walking GPSs where you can mark a, a place. But yeah, so anyways. I'm going to get back there and I'm going to get off of here and happy birthday Steve Cash. You are missed, that's for sure. Everybody, peace out.